हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद मॉडल पेपर सोल्यूशन इन इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल द सोल्यूशन बेस्ड ऑन मॉड्यूल वन ओके ऑल द मॉडल पेपर क्वेश्चन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इट दो हैव नॉट वॉच इट प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इट इट इज अवेलेबल इन आर चैनल सो इन फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो ऑनवर्ड्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द मॉडल मॉड्यूल टू मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर सोल्यूशन विच वुड बी यूजफुल फॉर यू ऑल ओके एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द कॉन्सेप्ट रिगार्डिंग टू दीज टॉपिक्स इयर्स जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म्स एंड ऑल इट इज अवेलेबल इन आर चैनल आई सेपरेटली मेड अ प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑल द मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ डी एस पी इट इज अवेलेबल इन आर चैनल प्लीज गो थ्रू एंड वॉच इट ओके अराउंड फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव वीडियोज आर देयर इन दैट go through and watch it because your exams are coming near and you should be learning nowadays okay so like this video before you move further because your like would be motivating us please like this video okay so let us start with the question now 3a okay from module 2 the first question 3a determine the z transform of the following signals okay they have uh, they have mentioned two sub questions here first is x of n they have mentioned it as alpha to the power n into u of n where it is defined as alpha to the power n uh, is uh, strictly uh, n is greater than or equal to 0 okay and it is zero for all the values of n less than 0 okay so we know that according to the definition of z transform uh, x of z is given as uh, uh, summation of n tending from minus infinity to plus infinity x of n into z to the power minus n this is the basic definition in order to convert from uh, time domain to z play okay so this is the definition so now according to this we should be doing uh, the necessary substitutions according in the given question that is first thing is the limits would be uh, restricted from 0 to infinity because they mentioned in the definition that the value is 0 for all the values of n less than 0 okay so that's why all the negative values from minus infinity to minus 1 would be 0 so that's why the limits starts from 0 to infinity alpha uh, right the substitute the value of x of n as alpha n into u power n z to the power minus n okay and here u of n is equal to 1 so that's why we would be direct we can write directly write it as x of z is equal to summation of n equal to 0 to infinity alpha power n z power minus n so here uh, we can take uh, n common in this two terms n power common and we can write it as alpha z inverse the whole power n okay again this is of the general form where uh, we have a general mathematical formula for that that summation of n equal to 0 to infinity alpha power n is given as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha in this place in place of alpha we are having alpha z inverse so that's why we would be getting x of z as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse okay so this is the uh, general z transform of this x of z we should be writing the region of convergence for this that is roc roc stands for region of convergence so here region of convergence says that we should not be uh, tending this x of z to infinity okay so if uh, if uh, this value becomes infinity the region of convergence would be invalid so that's why the condition is that if the alpha z inverse in this case should be strictly less than 1 because if it is greater than 1 uh, it would be equal to uh if it is greater than 1 it would be equal to infinity okay so that's why alpha z inverse should be strictly less than 1 that is alpha divided by z i have taken the z inverse to the denominator so alpha by z is strictly less than 1 therefore alpha should be strictly less than z or z should be greater than alpha okay this is the condition of region of convergence so this was the first sub question second sub question is x of n is equal to minus alpha power n Into u of minus n minus one. So according to definition here, they have given it as it is the answer. Uh, it is zero for all the values of n greater than zero because they have mentioned it clearly that it is a minus n. So that's why the uh, unit step response uh, would be inverting. So that's why we would be getting all the values at the negative side. So that's why it is zero at the positive end and it is minus alpha to the power n. For n less than or equal to minus one, because we have a shift of minus one as it is mentioned here, so that's why it should be it would be taking a left shift of minus one. So that's why our before uh, if we have zero, so next of next to that left shift is minus one. So that's why n is less than or equal to minus one. We would be getting minus alpha power n. Okay. So again uh, apply the Z transform formula. X of Z is equal to n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z to the power minus n substitute the value of x of n as minus alpha to the power n u of minus n minus 1 so this is equal to 1 
uh, because for all the values of unit step sequence the amplitude is 1 so that's why it would be gone so we would be left with uh, the limits are now from minus infinity to minus 1 because uh, after uh, uh, 0 uh, the, val uh, the values are strictly 0 right so that's why the limits would be restricted to minus infinity to minus 1 minus alpha power n z to the power minus n again minus is common take it outside so again we can take n common so we would be left with alpha z inverse whole power n now uh, you should be changing uh, the some of the limits here in order to bring it to this form okay so that's why you should be uh, doing some of the changes in the limits well, now what we can do is we can put l is equal to minus n so if n is minus infinity uh, l is minus n so that's why l would be plus infinity and if n is equal to minus 1 l would be equal to plus 1 so what we will be getting our limits would be changed to x of z is equal to minus of l is equal to infinity to 1 alpha z inverse the whole to the power minus l because we had plus n so l is equal to minus n so we would be getting minus l so that's equal to again minus of i've just replaced the limits of l is equal to 1 to infinity alpha inverse z whole to the power plus l okay now it is of this form okay so here in this in place of alpha we are having uh, alpha inverse z so that's why x of z we would be getting it as minus of alpha inverse z whole divided by 1 minus alpha inverse z okay or this minus sign if you want to neglect it we can write it as alpha inverse z is uh, divided by alpha inverse z minus 1 after multiplying minus sign okay so this is the required z transform of this question for this the uh, region of convergence says that alpha inverse z should be strictly less than 1 because if we put alpha inverse z as uh, greater than 1 the values the the z plane would be tending to infinity okay so that's why alpha inverse of z should be strictly less than 1 in this case that is z divided by alpha alpha inverse is there right so that's why z divided by alpha is, should be strictly less than 1 or we can say that z should be strictly less than alpha okay so first in the first sub question the condition was different that is z should be strictly greater than alpha in this case the z should be strictly less than alpha okay for the satisfaction of region of convergence so yeah the, this was this question first question 3a very simple uh, let us see with the next question now 3b okay again this is a very easy question determine the z transforms of the following finite duration signals okay that is they have mentioned some discrete finite uh, values for that we should be trying to find the z transform okay again we are having two sub questions here first sequence they have given it as x of x1 of n is equal to uh, sequence they have given it as 1, 2, 5, 7, 0, 1, where the arrow mark is indicated towards 1. So, this is the 0th term. Okay. So, apply the z transform very easy. Uh, x of z is equal to summation of n equal to 0 to infinity. In this case, the value is since we have only 6 points, so n minus 1, 6 minus 1 is 5. So, summation would be tending from n equal to 0 to only 5. x of n, z to the power minus n. So now uh, split this summation x of z is equal to x of 0 z to the power uh, minus 0 is 0 x of 1 z inverse x of 2 z power minus 2 x of 3 z power minus 3 up to z power minus 5 and do the uh, necessary substitution that is x of 0 is 1 then uh, x of 1 is 2 x of 2 is 5 x of 3 is 7 x of uh, 4 uh, is a 0 so that's why I have not written that term only so this is the final answer of, of x1 of z that is 1 plus 2 z inverse plus 5 z to the power minus 2 plus 7 z to the power minus 3 plus z to the power minus 5 so here ROC is the entire z plane except z is equal to 0 okay so here except z is equal to 0 if, because if you put the value of z as 0 in this case so this is a z inverse that we can write it as 1 by z right 1 by 0 is uh, we know that anything anything divided by 0 is infinity so the ROC would be tending towards infinity so that's why that is not valid so that's why we should be putting the, va the value of entire z plane except z is equal to 0 we can be putting any values of z so that we would be getting the region of convergence okay so this is the second sub question similarly same same sequence just the uh, term is uh, what to say shifted that is uh, this is the 0 term now okay now here again the summation would be from uh, since this is the zero term this is minus one term minus two term so that's why the summation would be from minus two to three because this is zero this is one two three so x of z is equal to uh, n tending from minus two to plus three x of n z to the power minus n 
again do the necessary substitutions uh, split the limits from minus 2 to plus 3 uh, take the summation out and uh, do the necessary substitutions okay so like this we would be getting our x2 of z and here the x2 of z we are getting our answer as z square plus 2z plus 5 plus 7z inverse plus z to the power minus 3 here in this case ROC is the entire z plane except z is equal to 0 as well as infinity. Why we are having two values? Because here we are having the positive powers. If you substitute the direct value of uh, uh, what to say z as infinity, infinity square is infinity again 2 into infinity is infinity as well. So if you substitute the value of z as infinity in this case we would be getting infinity also. Also we are having the negative powers. So that's why if we substitute the value of z is equal to 0 also we would be getting infinity. Okay. Our job is you should be not making the uh, z plane tending towards infinity. For that you should be writing the ROC condition. Okay. Yeah. So this was the problem guys. Uh, this would be coming around for uh, 4 marks. Like 2 questions, sub questions you would be asking for 4 marks. Okay. So please note it down guys. So that's all for this video. We have discussed 2 important questions from uh, module 2. So we will get to the next video with some more uh, solutions of model paper. So again uh, like this video, uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you would be getting the latest uh, stuff from our channel. So uh, please share these videos because model papers are very important to refer for students. Uh, again uh, you are uh, asking for it so that's why I provided it so that's why please do share these videos with your friends. All the best for the exam guys. Thank you.